Okay, Lee, so we're all set up and ready to do RSI, and we're just going to go over a checklist just to make sure we haven't forgotten anything, okay? Patient's stable, vital signs are good, blood pressure, stats, everything's fine, okay? So our checklist, so stop IC bars, so suction for S, we've got supraglottic airway, we've got syringe ready, and we've got our surgical airway ready there as well too, so that's S. T is for a tube, so we have a couple of different sizes, seven, eight, and nine, so tubes. T also for tube tie, okay? O for oxygen, so we've got two sources. We're denitrogenating the patient. We've, uh, so we've had five minutes already. Uh, we've got apneic oxygenation going on, and we've also reoxygenated the patient to 100% SAT, so that's good. P for position, face plane parallel, ear to sternal notch, head of bed 30 degrees, occipital pad as required, so that's checked there. Um, so stop, I, IVs, we've got two IVs, you've checked them, they're running good, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, C, so we got our cardiac monitor going on, we're cycling the blood pressure, we've got antidal CO2 as well too, so that's C. B for bougie, we've got a bougie, check, we've got our BVM, check, okay. Uh, A for airways, so we've got our oral airways, check, nasal pharyngeal airways times two, check. Okay, A, alternate airway, we got our air track ready too. Okay, check. Okay, R for rolls, so you're going to be my intubation assistant there. Okay. And Louise, the nurse there, is going to be our pulse ox watcher, going to watch our waveform, make sure that it's good, and to cycle the blood pressure every one to two minutes uh, while peri-intubation wise. Maybe keep a hand on the pulse if we're worried about it. Watch the waveform quality because if we're dropping off on that, we might be losing our blood pressure there. Okay, you're good with that, Louise? Good. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, other things for R would be resources. So we've got, um, uh, we've notified the anesthetists on call, and although they're busy, they're aware that uh, if we need help, they'll be able to come down to help us. Okay, okay. Uh, so R resources roles. And uh, the final S is uh, surgical airway we've got. Okay, and we've laid out our dump kit. And we've decided on our plan with RSI. We've figured out the ketamine dose, which is, what was it again, 140? 140, 140, yep. Okay, so you're going to give that over 30 seconds. And then we're going to give the rock, rock uronium, yep. which was two, uh, 1 1.2 milligrams per kilo, which is 90 milligrams for yep. this guy, right? Okay. okay. And then you're going to rapidly push that, and that's going to be time zero. Okay. okay. So you go ahead and get ready. I'm going to get ready. Okay. Push the drugs. Okay, so we're time zero. I'm just going to double check that I've got everything. So B slopes A, bougie. Okay, suction is down there. Laryngoscope. Oxygen is on. Position we've done. Uh, e for endotracheal tubes. S for supraglottic airway, surgical airway. And A, alternate intubation, air track. Good, so we're all ready okay, to go. We're at 20 seconds. Okay, so again, you're going to provide thyroid cartilage um, manipulation while I do ELM as required. You're going to get that off, switch that off there. Okay. Yep. We're at 35 seconds. Okay. 40 seconds. And SATs are doing good. Okay. Blood pressure is still doing good there. Thanks, Louise. 45 seconds. Gonna remove the mask. Okay, and make sure they're all relaxed. Yep, they look that way. Okay, and we need a little bit of suction here. Just get ready for ELM if required mm -hmm. there. Okay, I've got to just need a little bit of ELM here. Okay, that's good. Hold it right there. I can see the cords. I am passing it right now. It's in. Give our left turn. Okay, come up. Okay. Okay. okay, you're going to bag secure the, the tube. We've got end tidal CO2. I'm going to auscultate. And cycle the blood pressure there again, please. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Some good air entry. We've got good waveform. Good SATs, good end tidal CO2, and then to secure the tube. Okay, now we'll go into our post-intubation package, 
get the uh, sedation analgesia ready. So we had already decided on going with the propofol infusion, right? Mm -hmm. So we can get that going since our blood pressure is still good and get some fentanyl ready. We can give that 50 mics of fentanyl that we had uh, drawn up already there. Okay. Yeah. We've got him set up on the vent next. Yeah. Okay, good.